Hi everyone, this is Tim Brown, your host of My Apple Podcast. And for this episode, I'm going to focus on iMovie uh, as part of the iLife 11 suite. And this is just a quick little tutorial to sh show you how to import a movie and then edit and export that movie. And so here I just clicked on the camera icon and I'm now reading the video files that are on my camera. And I'm selecting the files that I want to import into my project. And once I've done that, I'm going to click import. And depending on how long the video files are, it could be anywhere from you know two minutes to ten minutes, depending on how long it is. So I'm going to give my project a name, import it in. So just give me a few minutes here. Okay, so there are my video files. Now I'm going to go up top here and create a new project. And as you can see, there are a lot of templates that you can use. It gives your project some animation if you want to do something with a little flair. Uh, they also have trailers at the bottom. That's a new feature of iLife 11. But I'm just going to choose the blank video. And I'm going to stick with widescreen. And then I'm going to create my project. And then my stage opens up. And then my project library down below. I'm going to go through and select either all of the video or in this case just a section of the video. Once I have my selection, I'm going to drag it up into my project. The bottom left of the clips, both video and photo clips, uh, there's a little icon that allows you to pull up a menu where you can make adjustments to the audio the video or clip adjustments. So here you can adjust the volume of your project. You can even adjust with an equalizer and that's a new feature of iLife 11. You can make video adjustments and here you can go through and change the brightness, you can change the exposure, you can change the contrast and you can change the saturation. And then you can go through and also adjust the individual colors, the RGB colors. And in terms of clip adjustments, you can actually add filters and effects. And as you can see, there are quite a number of effects here, almost close to 21. And, you know, they range from, you know, fog effects, um, negative effects, vignettes, so depending on what you want to do. They also have audio filters as well. Have a cathedral effect, um, you can fade the sound in and out, etc. Now you may want to add music to your, your project, so you click on the so the music icon on the right just below the video screen. Grab the song from your library. Uh, there are tons of samples in the GarageBand and iLife libraries. You attach it to your video clip. You can go in and then make adjustments to the volume. You can also add images to videos and it's best to do this through your iPhoto library. So you open up your iPhoto library. In this case, I'm going to go to my events. I'm just going to browse through a photo and I'm going to drag it onto the screen. And this is a great way where you can have video interface with photos. And there are a lot of things you can do with both of them, but um, since this is just my first tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to place one image next to a video clip. And as you can see here, I have transition features already built in by default. And so the, the default here is crossfade. Now I'm going to use the what they call the Ken Burns zoom in effect. And when you select this effect, you get two frames. The, the green frame is going to be what you first see when the 
when you play that clip and the smaller clip is what you see when it fades in as you see there and you can also add a title to your project and just like the transitions there are a lot of titles to choose from some are placed in the center along the bottom some are animated some have really cool graphics some have three-dimensional effects Go ahead and drag this onto my project and where it's highlighted is where it's going to show up and then you can then go and adjust it and then you select your title clip then go to the screen and edit your text so in this case in this case I'm going to put movie demo by Tim Brown click done So let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see that was a very cool title effect. And then it fades in. And then this zooms in at the end. Just like I set it up. Very cool. Now I want to add a, a, a different transition effect. These were the default transitions as I mentioned so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one let's turn off automatic transitions and I'm going to add something a little fancier maybe I'll go over here and, and drag the cube effect into my project now by default it's set at 0 0.2 seconds I'm going to change this to 2.0 seconds That'll give it a more of a, a smoother kind of effect. So I'm gonna play that back real quick. There you go. It's not too bad. Let's play the whole thing one more time. Here's my title. I'm gonna approach my new transition effect. There you go. Zoom in, fade out. Okay, let's export this baby. As you can see, you have a lot of options. You can export to iDVD, uh, Mobile Me Gallery, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, so forth and so on. I'm going to go ahead and just use your standard export feature, which is just export movie. And depending on the quality of the video that you imported into your project, you'll have a lot of options here. You have two HD versions. You have one for mobile. You have a large format. But I'm going to keep it at medium, which is 640 by 360. That's pretty standard. It looks really good on the web, as well as in a variety of other formats on your desktop computer and so forth. So I'm going to stick with that and export. And I'm going to go and retrieve that video file, which I saved to my desktop. Open it up in QuickTime. Now let's let's go ahead and play a full screen. See what it looks like. Oh, by the way, this is a video of an artist installing her work at the Columbus Museum. Here's my photos zooming in, fade out. Yay, we're done.